In this lesson, we will create the creature's leg bones. So in this scene, see we have this really fun asset to work with. I like to call him Rexy. What we'll do is go ahead and use this to learn how to work with the Splint IK system in Max. We'll learn how to set up an IK FK rig. We'll also take a look at another approach to creating a foot roll rig. All right, so we'll learn some really cool techniques in this level. Let's go ahead and get started by creating the creature's leg chain. So we'll go ahead and move over to our side view as we've done before. We'll now go ahead and grab our bone tools. We'll choose create bones and we'll go ahead and get right to work. So we'll go ahead and click to create a thigh bone. We're going to continue this all the way down to the toe. So there's the ankle, Here's our foot bend. Let's go ahead and click on the toe that protrudes out the most. And that's where we'll add our toe roll eventually. We can now right click to exit bones mode. And we'll now go ahead and move over to our perspective view to take a look at our chain. All right. Now before we continue, what I'd like to do is have a place for all of our bone objects and for our model as well. We've done this as well, but Let's say we go ahead and take care of this step now before we get any further. We'll go to Tools, Manage Layers, and underneath the Display tab, take a look, we can choose what to show and hide. So we can hide geometry if we'd like. That makes it a lot easier for us to go in and grab all of our bone objects. So with all of these selected, we can now create a skeleton layer. All right, great, so let's go in and make sure the default layer is active. We'll rename our new layer to Skeleton. Let's now go ahead and hide its contents. We'll go ahead and show our geometry at that point. Go ahead and grab all meshes and we'll create a model layer. I'm going to make sure the default layer is active and we'll name this Model. Alright, we have another piece here to add to that same layer. So we can go ahead and take care of that. Great. All right, so now we can go ahead and show those objects. Feel free to go ahead and freeze your mesh. And remember, if you'd like to see your texture, you'd simply go ahead and right click on your model layer, go to Object Properties, and turn off Show Frozen in Gray. Great. I'll now go ahead and press F3. So we can go ahead and grab the root of our chain and we can go ahead and move it over. Next, let's go ahead and work on rotating it in place. So we'll grab our rotate gizmo. Let's make sure it's set to view our world. So we can just rotate this and twist it in the z-axis. Very nice. I'll go ahead and translate it over in the x-axis again using either view or world. We just want to slide this over. Great. And then from here, we can go ahead and fix the orientation of our ankle bone by grabbing our rotate gizmo and twisting in the Z axis. Very nice. Let's now go ahead and grab our root bone. We'll press Control Page down. We can now Alt right click and choose Freeze Transform. Great. So all of our transforms have been now cleaned up. We can go ahead and work on renaming these objects. So our thigh will have this name too. BN L Thigh Sir One. I'll go ahead and copy that name. And the next would be for the creature shin. We could always go ahead and work with that same name of BN L Shin. Sure one. And then from there, we have the ankle bone. Great. So from here, we'll go ahead and have that renamed to ankle. And then our foot bone. And then the last one that will not be skin to will be BE toe. So remember, this one here is BN L foot. And the last one, which is our toe nub, 
we'll have a prefix of be bone end l to 01 okay great we won't worry about the toes just yet let's go ahead and just make sure the slug chain looks good fantastic all right so I think that this would be a good time to stop our lesson so let's say we go ahead and build our toe bones in the following lesson